Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Tuesday. First break of the day is going to be Jaspie's nine box gunslinger football mixer, a random team break featuring these boxes right here. And since this sold out before the deadline, at the end of the break, we're going to randomize different dice roll along with anything else we have to randomize. We'll use that dice roll to give away $100 of break credit to someone in this break. Here's what we should do. Um, if there's like, say, say we say points pop out of here for some reason, I hope it doesn't, but let's say it does. Name on top will get the 100 bucks of break credit on that full list, and then second name will get any, any and all points. We'll make that a little bit easier on us. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action, and thanks to the 32 teams right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a six, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, we've got Anthony Pickett down to David Bailey. Four and a six, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, we've got the Miami Dolphins down to the Clevelander Browns, which is also in Miami. The Browns are in Cleveland. The Clevelander is in Miami, though. I don't know why they call it that, but. Uh, Anthony with the Dolphins, Will, Vikings, Brian, Cardinals, Charles, Cowboys, Colton, Buccaneers, Patrick K with the Saints, Stephen K with the Bears, Adam Loving with the Patriots, Jason with the Eagles, Tim with the Chiefs, Kip with the Colts, Brian with the Texans, Victor, Last Bot Mojo, Jets, Fred with the Redskins, Bill with the Ravens, Frank with the Falcons, Allen with the Niners, Jeremy with the Broncos, Frank with the Bengals, Philip, you have the Seahawks, Brian with the Bills and Giants, uh, I'm assuming that's Joseph, did I just copy that wrong with the Jags Sean with the Steelers Dylan with the uh, Packers Brian with the car Chargers 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 uh, Stephanie with my Raiders Chance with the Panthers Charles with the Titans Jeff with the Lions David Bailey with the Browns so let's alphabetize by team and trades are allowed if you want to trade trades are allowed I'm gonna pause the video allow for some trades while I set up the mixer on the table when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. Um, a lot of trade chatter, but no deals got done. That's all right. On Tuesday the 21st, there's the nine box gunslinger football mixer. We're, uh, we have three mixers on the site. We got to do those three mi or fill those three mixers tonight in order to unlock tonight's break credit promo. Those details are on jazbeescasebreaks.com. But one down, two more to go. Right, let's put this list right over here so I can look at it. All right, uh, let's let's just grab this one right here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the ninth box is the helmet. That's right over here. So we'll we'll do that one. We'll do that one last. All right, good luck, boys and girls. Well, I don't think I've seen, I haven't seen the crew since the AFC and NFC championship games. Looks like the Titans just kind of ran out of steam. And the... Uh, Chiefs were just too good. And the Niners were just in control of that entire game. You know, their, their running attack, their defense, as advertised. I think it should be a pretty good Super Bowl. I'm looking forward to a nice Super Bowl. Bradley Chubb to 249. Penny sleeves over here behind this container. Got it. 
And we've got nice luminous endorsements. DK Metcalf, 87 out of 99. That will be for Phillip and the Seahawks. And back here is a relic, 49 out of 99, maximal relic, Kenyon Drake. And that'll be for Miami, Anthony Pickett. we we'll get all these top-loaded by your shipping team before it goes out, of course. There's Emmanuel Hall to 249. There's Extreme Rookies, Ryan Finley for the Bengals. There's Michael Thomas to 99. Right, TJ saying Chiefs key. They shut down Henry. Yeah, he was he was just not, not effective. Nice triple relic and autograph. Alexander Madison, 5 out of 49. Vikings, Bulldog fan with that one. Yeah, Sean also echoing Chiefs smother the Titans when they switch to run. Methodical drives instead of quick hit. Yeah, and I'm not sure if the Titans are quite are quite uh, equipped to be like, oh, okay, let's let's come back from a, a deficit and and strike. It was a good game. I, w I hope that the Packers Niners game would be a little more competitive, but. I think Aaron Rodgers needs some more some more weapons, right? So, before we continue to the Super Bowl, because we've got a lot of lot of time to chat, um, let's talk about the teams that were just ousted. What do the Titans need to do? Titans got to the AFC Championship. What are the big questions for the Titans? Do you re-sign Ryan Tannehill? Great in the regular season, not really needed for a couple of their big wins in the postseason. What do we think? about Ryan Tannehill. Do they continue with him? I don't think they're going to... They probably won't continue with Mariota, right? Unless you want to try to use Mariota like a Taysom Hill. I don't know. Maybe Mariota thinks I could be a starting quarterback somewhere else in the league. He probably does think that. But Brian says get a QB. See, I think that's the big debate in Tennessee. They've got some receivers. they got Corey Davis. they got A.J. Brown. They've got some. They've got some nice pass catchers. They obviously have Derrick Henry. You know, maybe you find a, a backup for Derrick Henry or something like that, you know, just to keep his legs fresh. But, I mean, Mariota's not going to be there. Tannehill's a free agent. You try to tag him maybe, franchise tag him, maybe give him another year or two, see what happens. <coughs> Excuse me. Get a QB, but where, Brian? What what QB? Sean saying he saw someone suggest that Brady to the Titans could be. He thinks that could be a sneaky good pairing. Brady to the. I mean, they've got a relationship, right? Brady knows Vrabel, so there's familiarity there. Brady gets the running attack that he needs to balance out the passing attack. All right, it sets up the play action. Obviously, keeps the keeps it, and he's got big, a big playmaking receiver like AJ Brown. And plus, Corey Davis isn't isn't too shabby either. I think they've got. Do they have pass catching tight ends? Jonu Smith, I think, is a tight end. They've got Fer Ferks Ferkser. So, so they've got some options everywhere. Defense is pretty good. So get Brady, draft defense, backup running back, keep Derrick Henry fresh, and then title. So what's in here? We've got this is 2012 SP Authentic Football by Upper. This is three autographs per box on average, and we're going by our college rules. So this will go to the team, or no, we're going to go by the checklist. Act. There should be a checklist for this. Um, I think there should be a checklist for this. I don't think we have to go by our college rules if there's a checklist. I prefer there to be a checklist. That would make life easier. 
2012 checklist. Ooh, group rate checklist.com. Have you done God's work? They usually do. Big ups to group rate checklist.com. Nice. So we're going to go by this checklist right there. Michael Blunt read something that maybe rivers to the Bucks. That could be interesting. Bill says one problem that Brady's not going to go anywhere. How sure are you about that? And that is Marvin Jones. Sign of the Times autograph. Is that Lions? Bengals. We're on to Cincinnati. That goes to Frank. I mean, in all likelihood, I suppose Brady will probably stay. There's Stadium Authentics, Warren Moon. And Group Rate Checklist has Warren Moon as... As... As nobody. He's not on the checklist. So that means we do have to go by our college rules. The team that he played for since he's, since he's retired. The team that he played for the longest has to be Houston, right? Yeah, Houston Oilers, so that goes to the Titans. Tennessee. Charles with Tennessee. And we've got rookie auto patch Case Keenum, 37 out of 885. Case get drafted by the Rams? Tex Texans. So that goes to the new Houston team, and that will be for Brian Peoples. And we've got our third, is that our third autograph? Yeah, our third autograph. We've got Pat Edwards. Pat Edwards is a lion. Detroit with that one. That'll go to Jeff Norland. So I'll sticky note those, so the shipping team will send them to the right place. Now the rest of these should just be base and insert so the inserts will ship bet base won't ship per usual our shipping team will kind of sort all that stuff out for you that's what they do they sort and they ship Brady, Brady, Brady in, in a different uniform in general would just look odd. Ratings were down a little bit, folks, in the conference championship games by, I don't know, 10, 15% from last year, which is a decent amount. And there's some speculation on is it just because it's, it's streaming? You know, are they not accounting those numbers? The way we consume media is different these days. But I think that... Uh, I think that there's also a good chance that people want to see the see the Patriots. <laughs> I think they want to see the Patriots go down, right? They're 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 the they're the common NFL enemy, right? Just because they've been so so darn good. Um, I think that's where 
people say they won't they don't want dynasties but they in a way they kind of do all right let's go into let's let's knock this out Co more collegiate football and that's 2017 so there should be a checklist for this too so let me dig that up really quick I forgot about the collegiate stuff in here I see a checklist yes and I'll drop that into the chat for everybody so we'll be going by that checklist for the hits let's talk about the other team that was just recently ousted from 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 the playoffs that was the Packers S held scoreless in the first half and then before scoring 20 in the second half, but the Niners just, they seemed in control the entire time. Um, what do the Packers do in the offseason? What do they need to do to get back to the NFC Championship and, and then win that NFC Championship, go back to the Super Bowl? What do they need? Defense, right? I mean, they, 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 there were the uh, the Niners ran on the Packers seemingly at will. I mean, Raheem Mostert carried the ball twenty nine times. Raheem Mostert, <laughs> Jimmy Collins says they need to not play the Niners. Raheem Mostert had twenty nine carries. He had Derrick Henry numbers, two hundred and twenty yards of rushing. Four touchdowns. I mean, Garoppolo only threw the ball eight times. I mean, that's just... It, it, it was There was a point when I was watching the game where it was like, oh, yeah, you know they're going to run the ball, and you know that, that they can't stop the run. Yeah, Sean says Packers rough road ahead. They, yeah, they need... Yeah, they need a lot of stuff. They need a defense, Stephen K. I agree. They need a defense. They need. Uh, they need a defense. They need like a, a, a pass catcher, like a, outside of Devonte Adams. You know, they need someone else. I mean, they got Aaron Jones already. If they had one extra guy to kind of keep attention off of Devonte Adams, that might be huge. That's good for Rodgers, but that defense, that defense needs a lot of work. There's Devonta Freeman die cut. And there's their first autograph. There's Zach Pascal. That is, uh, is that Eric Pascal's brother on the Warriors? I think they spell it differently. Zach Pascal not on the checklist. So we'll use our our college football rules, our non-pro uniform rules, that, that, as I explained before. If they're inactive, they'll go to the team they play for the longest. If they're active, they'll play with the team they're currently on. And Zach Pascal is a American football wide receiver for the Colts. Currently a Colts. So Indianapolis will get that one. They'll be for Kip Kip Hooray. A couple of guys here think that uh, maybe Seahawks Niners would have been a much better game. Well, what do the what do the Seahawks need? Russell Wilson can't can't do it all by himself. Stephen K saying, Joe, saying saying defense 
Green Bay defense needs a lot of work. Implies they they have one. They clearly don't. So they just need to start from scratch. And we've got Tony Connor from Ole Miss. Tony Connor not on the checklist either. Am I looking at the wrong checklist? I don't think so. Tony Connor. Tony Connor. Oh, because he's not associated with the football team. That's why. All right, so this will be randomized to one person in the break. Uh, here's how we're going to do this. We've got some some randomizers we do at the end right there. Hundred dollars break credit being given away at the end of this break. Second slot will be any and all points, if any. If not, we'll move Tony Connor Auto up to that second slot right there. We'll we'll play it. We'll play that by ear. Is for the Seahawks. Being that while we're on the subject of the Seahawks, is. Are they happy with Pete Carroll? Is there maybe something that maybe they, 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 they need to mix up a little bit? I feel like the Seahawks could be could be like uh, they could use they could easily use the Chiefs as a sort of blueprint. You got a speedy receiver like in Lockett, right? That's kinda like Meikle Hardman or or, or, uh, or Tyree Kill. Got a big receiver in DK Metcalf who's kinda like the Sammy Watkins sort of thing. I think they were a little banged up too, to be honest with you. I think Seattle was a little banged up. There's Russell Shell the third, so maybe maybe health. Maybe health. Looking at the right checklist, I don't think these guys are on the checklist. All right, Russell Shell is currently a free agent. No, he's not on a team either. The only NFL team was associated with was the Steelers, so we'll send him to Pittsburgh. I don't think Tony Connor was associated with the team at all. I think I might have been looking at the regular elite checklist, not elite collegiate. I think elite collegiate doesn't have a checklist. Sean is saying Titan out of division out of division games next year at Baltimore, Cincinnati, Green Bay, Minnesota, Denver, and at home Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Chicago, Detroit, Buffalo. You think 2020 is not going to be their year. So maybe you do get a quarterback. Maybe you franchise tag Ryan Tannehill, draft a QB, you know, let Ryan Tannehill just kind of run the team for a year or two. And then emerge with that quarterback that's been marinating behind Tannehill for a little bit. Tua, Tua could be. Is Tua going to last? Is Tua going to last at the end of the first round? Unless they trade up, I suppose. Tua, 
Deshaun Hall is a defensive end for the Philadelphia Eagles. All right. Um, all right, so we're done with that. Why don't we get into not too many boxes left. Let's get into that playoff. Playoff? Playoffs? That's what we're looking for there in 2019. Playoff. All right. Well, now that we're in the Super Bowl, what do we got? Chiefs, Niners, Chiefs in Miami. So weather not a factor. Shouldn't shouldn't be a factor unless there's rain, I guess. Rain and wind, I guess, could could affect things, but should be nice, right? Who does everyone have? Straight up. I, th I think the line might just be straight up too, pretty much. But straight up, who does everyone have? We'll get into the more nitty. We got all week. And the week after that to get into the nitty gritty. But Tony says Chiefs. Chiefs will win. I know that Niners defense looked kind of scary. But maybe maybe the Chiefs just have too many weapons. Andy Reid off a bye. That's a classic Andy Reid off a of bye. You get you give him an extra week to prepare. Andy Reid's record is pretty stellar. All right, we got Terry McLaurin who had a pretty solid season. Fred with the Redskins. Phil says Chiefs and the over. All right, I, I already put um, a little pizza money on the on the. Chiefs already minus one. Sean says San Francisco money line. Right. If you're going to take the points, might as well just take the money line at that point. I mean, for the hobby, you want Patrick Mahomes to win. There it is. Air command Patrick Mahomes. You want him to win for the hobby. There is Ty Johnson, 36 out of 50 for the Lions. That's going to go to Jeff. Rex saying, if you want it rigged for publicity, it's got to be the Niners, right? Really? Why would you want the Niners to win it? You would want, you would want the guy that's in all the State Farm commercials. You want to rig it towards the Chiefs if you're saying things are going to be rigged. That guy. State and farm commercials, head and shoulders, video game, all, all that sort of stuff. One out of 50, game day relic, Marquise Lee. That goes to the Jaguars. Joe Lombardi with that one. Mothro says KC will win. I like KC. I think there'll just be too many weapons. Dexter Williams and Andy Reid, too much time for him to prepare, figure out how to, to decode that, uh, that Niners defense. Dexter Williams for the Packers, that'll be for Dylan. All right, so that was playoff. There he is. All you keep seeing is the Niners have the first openly gay female coach. See a Super Bowl, it's everywhere. I'm not sure what that means, Rex. All right, great. It's 2020. It's a thing. 
No big deal. Yeah, everyone will shut up. I've, that's the first I've heard of it, Rex, to be honest with you. So maybe maybe the places that you're hearing from is that. I feel like I've, that's the first time I've ever heard it. But then again, we are in California, and that's not, probably not a big talking point here. It's like, cool. Are you suggesting that's why it would be rigged towards the Niners? If that's what you're thinking, I think... That's a stretch. It's quite a stretch. Denver Broncos, Jeremy. Out of four ninety nine, Jordan Lasley. And there's Carson Wentz to three ninety nine. If the Niner lose, they'll blame her. It's her fault. That one assistant coach. <laughs> There's uh, Terrell Edmonds. <laughs> that would be wild. You're like, ah. That one random assistant coach. There's Charlie Joyner, 999. If it wasn't for her. There's Jalen Samuels to 75. Steelers autograph. That'll go to Sean, who got randomized the Steelers. At 999, Ronnie Harrison, Redemption. Oop, different pile here. All right. The Redemption is Bam. Bam. Hayden Hurst, Ravens. That'll go to Bill and Baltimore. Also, Tone in was Tone eighty six saying twenty twenty one Super Bowl, Lions Ravens. All right, let's let's go back to uh, go back in time twenty seventeen Crown Royale. Lions, Ravens. I could, I could that happen? What are the what? What kind of odds do you think we can get on that, Tonin? Lions, Ravens, Super Bowl in twenty twenty one. I could probably get plus five thousand. Yeah. You feel like opening a couple packs? Yeah. All right. Here's twenty seventeen Crown Royale. No, they wouldn't. Vegas wouldn't even take that, Kyle Kramer. They'd be just, they'd just be like, "Get out, <laughs> sir. <laughs> you're cut off, sir." Rookie silhouette. We sell cases. I mean, we haven't had a lot of cases sold yet, but. Rex, you want a case? We'll sell you a case. I don't know. If, if it's like prison basketball. We won't be able to. But. Danelle Pumphrey. For the Eagles, that'll be for Jason and the Fly Eagles Fly. Ooh, nice, Bill. 
You got that Harry Heilman bat knob. That's pretty sick. Looks cooler in person, right? As I mean, I feel like we got pretty good production value here, but it's always nice to see hits like that in person. We got Justin Evans autograph. What year is this? 2017. What year is this? You could hit Raheem Moser over 200 bucks. Ooh. You could hit George Kittle. You could hit Patrick Mahomes. Colton Carver with the Buccaneers. Wow. I'm just going to keep keep letting it marinate. Yeah. Yeah. Better take advantage of that, folks. Wasn't Mark asking about that? All right, here's first off the line right here. We got Devontae Adams and Boston Scott. Nice. Back when he was a saint. There's actually some sneaky value here, especially if he keeps doing what he did at the end of the season and continues doing it next season. You think Boston it's Scott. 44 out of 50? Now, this is still Saints edition, so this will go to Patrick. What? Wow. Wow. Boston Scott can't get rookie of He can't get rookie of the year though. That's uh, Jair Alexander. Uh Packers, that goes to Dylan Labs to thirty five. Alright, now these can go over here. Kid Reporter, that's last year's Kid Reporter. All right, we made it, ladies and gentlemen. Last one. All right, good luck, everybody. We'll play a, a quick little round. of uh, who am I. Oh, you, Mark won in 2019. Oh, we'll try to find some more of that too. 2019 Donner's Optic. I thought we had more. All right, who am I? I'm a retired football player, a retired professional football player, Currently a coach, was a linebacker, born in Houston, Texas, played for one team my entire career, a Super Bowl champ, a 10-time Pro Bowler, eight-time first team All-Pro, two-time NFL Defensive Player of the Year, three-time NFC, there you go, NFC Player of the Year, I've cut off half the league for you. 1,488 tackles, 19 sacks, 7 interceptions, Hall of Famer. He wants winners. I want players that want to win. All right, TJ. Yes, TJ and Sean and Augustus. Got it. TJ got it first. Mike Singletary. I want winners. I want players that want to win. There it is, Bears helmet right there. We got the Beckett sticker on the back. Right over there. And you got an inscription there too, Monsters of the Midway inscription, that is nice. If I ever meet Mike Singletary at like a card show or something like that, I definitely wanted to sign something or he says, I want winners. I want players that want to win. One of my favorite coach co quotes of, uh, of all time. And there you go. Chicago Bears. Now, and now Adam Loving will trade for the Bears. That'll go to Stephen Kendrick. Nice. Did you try? Is this tried to trade? Couldn't trade Mojo, Stephen Kendrick? Were you trying to trade them away? I'm scrolling up the chat. Maybe... Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. I don't know. But anyway, well, there you go. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was a nice end to the break. Let's give away some money. So there were no points. 
So that Tony Connor autograph, where he was not associated with any NFL team right there, will be the second name on top. Top name gets $100 of break credit. Now, I don't want to tell how anybody should, how anyone should use their break credit money, but if I were you, I'd put it towards a mixer that we can do tonight because we need to fill up two more mixers to unlock the, the, the nightly break credit promo. So you can win break credit and then win break credit again. He was trying to trade, people are saying. Wow, nobody wanted the Bears. Nobody wanted that Mike Singletary. All right, let's get everyone's names from Brian down to Fred. You're welcome, Stephen Kendrick. Thanks for uh, getting into the action. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't win if you don't play. Jaspiescasebreaks.com, the place to play. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a one. Lucky seven times. Name on top. Gets 100 bucks of break credit. One. Two. Yeah, sure. Three. Sean saying, can the top name choose the break credit or the Tony Connor autograph? Sure. Six and a one, seven times. Four, five, six. You know what, Joe? I want the Tony. After seven times, name on top is Jeremy S. $100 break credit going your way. Charles S., you will have uh, the Tony Connor autograph card, player from Ole Miss after seven. There you have it. That was the nine box gunslinger football mixer from jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe, and I'll break some more mixers with you tonight.